Hi, my name is Greg Hill, and welcome to Uncle Greg's Art Lessons. I've been an artist for over 50 years, and I'm going to give you lots of little hints and tricks that I've learned in my past. Today, we're going to learn light and shadows. Very important. Very easy. So, I've been working on this painting where we live on Nantucket Island, Massachusetts. Have your parents look it up on the internet. Beautiful place. So today's lesson, like I said, light. This is the light source. It's the sun. It's coming down and hitting the water and creating a shadow. We're not going to work on this today. We're going to do something very fun and simple. Mr. Happy Face. He's round. There's a lot of light. No shadows, but look what happens when I put it on a white surface, it creates its own shadow. So let's draw Mr. Happy Face. But we have to have a light source, so let's pretend like this is the sun. It could be lamps or anything. But remember, have lots of paper on hand and bring your pencils, colored pencils, markers, charcoal, chalk. I'm using chalk today, but you can use anything you're comfortable with. So let's start off. Mr. Happy Face is round. So let's do a simple cir circle. That's all. Now because the sun's over here, it's coming this way. So it's going to create a shadow. Like that. And not only there, but it's going to, there's going to be a shadow underneath because it's round. There's no sharp edges. So with your finger, you could smear it or just leave it like that. See how fast this is going and how fun? Little yellow chalk. Like I said, you can use anything. Colored pencils, markers, watercolors. Let's see, Mr. Happy has two big eyes. And a big smile. There, maybe make the shadow a little darker here. See what that did? Makes it set down. Well, that was fun and easy. Light and shadow, remember that. Let's see what else is next. Once you use that, go to the refrigerator and maybe pick up an apple. It's about the same shape as Mr. Happy Face. And this is your light source. It's a flashlight. But look what happens. Look, it creates a shadow. It almost becomes alive. You could use an apple. You could use an orange. You could use a pear. Look at that. Let's use a pear. Put a pair here. There again, our light source is coming from here. Let's see. A pair is off, is round to the bottom. Then it kind of comes up to a point like that. And it has a stem. And there again, the light source is coming from here. You're going to see a shadow here. And you're going to see a little shadow on the pear itself. Maybe a little on top, too. Oh, Mr. Sun should be a little closer. There he is. Simple, fun, little green shot. A little smear and make it round. There you have a pair. Now after the show, I want you to practice, practice, practice. Repeat this over a couple of times until you get familiar with it, until you're happy with it. And what we just learned about the pair, if you're looking at an object sitting on a table like that, 
It's called a still life. A lot of artists will use a still life. Let's see, what else is there? I think next week, we might paint some of the lighthouses on Nantucket or some of the boats. I know a lot of boats, they're beautiful boats. And like I said, until next week, I'd like you to practice, practice, practice. And next week, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.